Good morning, students, and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about our history chapter of class six. So, the name of the chapter is history and introduction. So, we already know what is history. We already commonly studied in our previous classes also. So, what is history? Basically, it is the study of our past. Okay, and also it can be defined as it is a mirror of our past. This whatsoever we have done in our past is our mirror, and it will be considered as history. Normally, the study of uh, this history is normally done by different sources. So, what is the source? That is the media from which we can obtain something that is data. Means a source can be defined to uh, to every object or a situation. Or any data that help us understand about certain points, certain data that we can receive. Normally, these sources is broadly classified into two parts: archaeological sources and literary sources. Okay. So, what is an archaeological sources? Our archaeological sources are basically the material evidence. Like historical building, coins, tools, etc. So, what are they? Archaeological, archaeological sources here refers to all those articles or things that we have found in at certain points. Okay. For example, the tools by which our ancestor used to uh, what you call harvest uh, uh, our food or hunt down different animals. Will be considered as archaeological sources. Histor historical buildings will also be considered as one of the most important archaeological sources because it tells us about what and how that situation is ultimately made out of. Coins also used to tell is that country or that situation or that state is well known in economical aspect and the tools we already discussed. Normally, the things that we are going to study in this portion is artifacts, fossils, monuments, inscriptions, and so on. We will have a good detailed way of studying on this particular topic, on this specified topics. Okay. Second point that is literary sources. What are those? Literary sources are the data which are recovered in the written format that is that can be book. Now only they are written in format. Okay, we have the data in a written form, so we can understand very nicely about it. So some of the data uh, or the, the, those uh, those uh, situations, they said, the literary sources are found in languages. This way we convey our language or word, manuscripts, inscription, and religious text and non-religious text. Okay, so in this way we can say that. Literary source and archaeological source provide us all the data that we need for or to study our past. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you and have a nice day.